in Tuesday night's episode of I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here. Fred Siriaics became the third campmate to be removed from the Australian jungle. After being in the bottom two of the most recent elimination, the 51-year-old star of First Dates was defeated by Daniel Harold in the public vote. It happens after jockey Frankie de Tory was the first to be sent home in the public vote on Monday, and Nella Rose was the second celebrity to be ousted. There are now just seven campmates left after Jamie Lynn Spears and Grace Dent left the jungle separately due to health issues. Following his arguments with Nigel Farage about Brexit, his argument with Josie Gibson over the cooking, and his confrontation with Nella over the Dadgate incident, Fred had a turbulent period in camp. After the drama, a lot of fans admitted on social media that they were relieved to see Fred go because they thought he was bossy. Not really surprising it's Fred. His recent acting has been really disappointing, even though it's been great for creating tension, drama, and entertainment value. Hallelujah, Fred has gone, commented another. He felt like he was everything there, a brash as F E asterisk asterisk K. A third, however, tweeted, I'm so happy Fred's gone. Too lazy to listen to him anymore. A fourth wrote, Fred might have easily been in the top three. I believe he spoiled it by using the entire dinner gate. Another said, I thought Fred did himself any favours the last couple of shows, but I had him down as a finalist. He's still appealing to me. But several fans also leapt to his defence, claiming that Fred shouldn't have been ousted and that other campmates were more deserving. Actually, I didn't want Fred to go just yet, one person wrote. He's so passionate, remarked one, while another added, Oh, I'm so sad Fred left. Sad to see Fred leave the camp, to be honest, said another. Others have contributed far less to the programme. Following his eviction, Fred talked about his inability to relinquish control in the kitchen and reflected on his time in the jungle with Ant and Dick. This led to him being labelled as controlling and misogynistic by fans. Prior to their current disagreement, Josie and the maitre d'hôtel had a falling out over his criticism of her cooking abilities and his inability to let go of his previous position as camp chef. After being removed from the competition, Fred expressed his opinions once more, saying that Josie makes things up as she goes along in the kitchen. You must locate the calories whenever possible because you truly need them. I believe we lost out on quite a few meals due to our inability to recycle ingredients, he continued. When questioned why he didn't participate as much in the cooking of Nick Pickard and Sam Thompson, he stated, that it was no need for him to do so because they were a dream. When asked how he handled the difficult tasks on the program, Fred said that he had been practicing hard for his time in the jungle and that he considered the majority of them to be easy. The challenges I found were quite easy actually because I was quite focused, he said. I found it quite easy because I prepared myself mentally, I was really thinking. Training physically aids in mental health because it requires concentration, and when you practice something consistently, you develop a habit of staying in that state of mind. In response to a question concerning his erratic connection with Nigel Farage during their time together in the camp, Fred stated that their time together had not affected his opinions on politics. I'm a doer, and Nigel is a doer, so it was great in the camp, he remarked. But there is a side of Nigel Farage that I won't and will never connect with. In a recent episode, the two engaged in a heated argument about Brexit, during which Fred called the former UKIP leader a talking bee asterisk, 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 asterisk. Nevertheless, they also became close over the camp's cleanliness. After leaving the show, Fred talked about how he made an effort to not think about missing his fiancée fruitcake and instead simply enjoy the moment while he was on it. I was really living in the moment. I was not thinking about home or work, he remarked. I just kept pushing through. After leaving the camp, fruitcake raced over to greet Fred and the two of them gave each other a tender hug 
before grinning on the bridge. Fans accused Fred of controlling behavior on Tuesday's program when Sam and Nick assumed leadership roles as camp chefs, leading to Fred's departure. Originally the camp cook, Fred has grown angrier and been labeled as controlling by viewers since he had to give up his duty to others. He even found himself in the center of a sexism controversy after a number of onlookers accused him of being misogynistic against host Josie, 38, as she was preparing supper. They determined the following tasks to be completed. Nigel and Fred handled camp maintenance. Sam and Nick were camp chefs. Tony Bellew and Marvin Humes cleaned up, and Fred and Marvin handled camp water and dunny. As soon as Sam saw their selections, he said, No way! I'll be like the clown in the kitchen so Nick can get on and do what he needs, and I'll distract Fred, Sam subsequently stated in the Bush Telegraph. In addition, though, I'm really anxious. I'm not a particularly skilled chef. I think that Nick is going to be on the front line of this with Sam as sous chef, Nigel continued in the Bush Telegraph. It will be fascinating to see what Fred has to say about Sam's cooking. I do like a bit of cooking, but after the exploits of the last couple of evenings of Fred and Josie, I'm a little bit nervous, Nick later said in the Bush Telegraph. Fred is going to yell at us right now. I'm hoping he'll offer us some direction before letting us be. In recent episodes, Fred faced accusations of misogyny following his actions toward his female co-stars, which led some fans to call him unbearable. It happened after Nella was sent out of the camp on Monday. She seemed utterly shocked by the news and put her palms to her lips in amazement. The influencer's tenure in the jungle was marked by controversy following her repeated altercations with Nigel Farage and Fred Syriax, which resulted in 2,000 complaints from Ofcom. It didn't matter how tense things were. Nella said her campmates farewell with love, and Tony Bello told her, You are a winner! You've done wonderful! She placed in the bottom two with Marvin Humes, who, on Monday, shocked viewers by barely avoiding elimination. At home, viewers were shocked to learn that Marvin had placed in the bottom two of the popular vote because they had assumed he would have been safer than other campmates. Someone asked on Twitter, someone explain why Marvin was in the bottom two. And another person reiterated the question, why was Marvin in the bottom two? Get Marvin more screen time, wrote a third fan. Unbelievable that he placed in the bottom two. He really is a good man. Another person concurred, tweeting, What do you mean, Marvin? It could be you. And not Nigel even now? Marvin received two of my votes. He must be present for the final with Sam. He cannot depart yet. A sixth person said, Whoa, how was it Marvin? While a fifth added, OMG, the stress I felt when Marvin nearly went. He cannot possibly leave early. Please vote for Marvin, please. I can't handle him going home yet. I don't know how he was in the bottom two, pleaded a seventh individual. One person said, Nigel was safe, but could it have been Marvin? Why have you got Marvin in the bottom two? Over Fred? Over Nigel? Penned the ninth. Another acknowledged that their heart actually dropped when they said that man deserves to stay to the end, even though it may have been Marvin. Nella was welcomed by hosts Ant and Deck with an orangeade glass instead of the customary champagne as she left. Prior to this, Nella gained notoriety when she attacked Fred, 51, for suggesting that he could be her father due to their 25-year age difference. She said that this was insulting because, just hours before, she had informed the campmates that she had lost both of her parents. She recalled the encounter and said, I just feel that you shouldn't bring up personal, sensitive topics in the middle of an argument or disagreement, and I feel that he brought up a sensitive topic in the middle of a disagreement. I couldn't understand why he would harm someone he doesn't know well with that. Deck then questioned whether the commotion was perhaps just a misunderstanding, to which Nella responded, It could have been. However, Everything is magnified so much in the forest that it all seems significant. 
She also clashed with erstwhile Brexit leader Nigel Farage on the issues of racism and immigration. Oh my God, you used everything, screamed Nella, following the host's playback of the fight footage. I don't often find myself in settings where folks from different backgrounds don't share my ideas. I'm therefore surprised to hear folks with such varied ideas because I'm not used to hearing that kind of thinking. You have to speak up about it right away because occasionally what they've said to me has been very surprising. But things are as they are.